Okay, so I'm on an elevator in the hospital. I am here visiting my grandpa again today. I didn't work, but I just wanted to do this quick little update while I'm on the elevator. So I'm down. So I will see you guys a little while for my normal update. Bye. Day 52 of my 100 day challenge. Um, so I decided to walk downstairs and do my update. So I just got off the elevator a little while ago and um, decided to come outside where the sun is still shining after a whole morning of pouring rain. And uh, it was really windy, it's still kind of windy, but the sun is shining now, no rain. So I thought I'd come outside and do a nice update. Um, so uh, today I got up, uh, got the trash out, and got ready for work, which work. We were there for 20 minutes, and it started downpouring rain, and so we couldn't work because obviously we work outside. So they sent us home, and um, we, I went with my, well we went home, we went to my house, and or my mom did with me, and uh, I changed we changed clothes and so my mom needed to go to the bank in Albia so I rode with her there and then um, we stopped by the store in Shipshawana and um, got a few things at the store and uh, then we headed up here to the hospital to see my grandpa and that's where I've been for since we've gotten here um, let's see um, he's doing pretty good overnight he said he had a really rough night he woke up like every hour and um, he went into AFib again last night and they were giving him medicine to slow his heart rate again so hopefully that's under control and he won't have any of those episodes when he comes home um, but he uh, was having some chest pain and he's been having really bad back pain again and stuff like that like when he stands and stuff to walk so um, other than that they were gonna let him go home today but because of the AFib they have to get that under control first so um, they may let him go home tomorrow as long as everything goes well again tonight so um, that's when our fun will begin trying to help him and deal with our kids and stuff like that so but it's all good so it's just life and you just have fun and go with the flow of whatever's happening so um, it's nice um, let's see what else um, my 100 day journal was talking about today I can't remember the name of it but um, I did do it on the way to the hospital today so um, it was talking about um, <coughs> allergies have been bothering me, sorry. Um, I was talking about <clears throat> being bored, um, like if you get bored or um, you have different feelings or stuff like that, like you always turn to food for those things. What um, can you do or put in place of um, or have a plan in those cases where, um, where you're dealing with stress or you're bored and you're just turning to food and stuff, what's a plan that you could have to be able to um, not eat all the time and stuff. So <coughs> that was really something different and kind of nice. So um, I got that done. And something else I've been thinking about today is um, The whole, the, since my grip has been here, we, he was on the cardiac floor for, I think, four days. And, um, something that I've been observing, because in my new life now, I observe a lot more and stuff. And something I've been observing now is actually how many people are actually on the cardiac floor. And, just in the hospital in general, but especially on the cardiac floor. And, um, having open heart surgery and... Um, as stuff to repair things with the heart and stuff like that and it was <coughs> really shocking because my 
my grandpa, he got this paper today, and he, um, it was talking about um, a nice cardiac diet and more plant-based diet, which is what I'm going for anyway. So, um, but what it was talking about is um, all the hydrogenated fats and the fats and oils and the sugars, the processed foods and all that stuff, how it's high in salt and how that's causing the plaque buildup in your arteries to um, and causing heart failure and all of these other heart conditions with the heart and stuff and how so many people are having open heart surgery and how America they just keep processing all of this food and selling all of this food. I mean, we walked into this store in Shipshawana today and it was like all of this processed food and people are just buying it because it's on sale or very cheap and they're not even thinking about what it could do to their body or what could happen in the future to their heart or to their body or where they're ending up by just eating stuff or buying candy and sweets that are on sale and stuff and packing themselves full every day. And it's just really something to think about because it's amazing how many people are having open heart surgery. And then seeing all the people on the progressive care unit floor, how, um, how they're struggling to regain their strength and be able to walk. And, you know, you always have to protect your chest right here where they cut the bone and um, everything and all of the special procedures you have to do to, in order to... Um, go through after the open heart surgery and stuff and so it was just an eye-opening thing and something for me to think about and really get my life on track and really focus on where am I going in life I need to get my diet and my exercise going vegan under control get my exercise under control and all this stuff because if I don't do that I'm still so overweight that I'm going to end up on that floor someday I'm gonna be there or be one of those people with the same problem and I won't be have a long life. So these are all things I've been thinking about and considering and it's really changing me, changing my, my way and it's really motivating me. My hardest thing is actually getting up earlier than what I need to in the morning for work. So I need to start doing that and saying I choose to instead of I have to and using that um, one of the things for my 100 day journal. So um, yeah, I just thought I would throw that in it's just a real eye-opening thing for me to see since my grandpa's been here. So, um, yeah, it's just something to think about for everybody out there of how processed everything is and how much bad things are in the foods that we're eating and stuff like that and what it's really doing to people and everything. So, overall, it's been a really good day again. Um, I just have been learning a lot, observing a lot. Um, it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'll be going to work and working tomorrow. Um, and then we'll probably be coming up here to pick my grandpa up as long as everything goes well tonight. He should get discharged tomorrow, so um, we'll probably be coming to the hospital, pick him up after work. I need to run another, another errand after before that. So life is pretty busy, but fun. Um, I still feel like I need to get a little more organized with my life and have a plan for every single day and for every week and stuff. So keep working towards that also. And um, with that being said, I need to get back into the hospital. My girls and my mom are up there waiting in my grandpa's room. They don't even know I snuck out. So I am going to head back up there and I will see you guys all back here. Well, maybe not at the hospital, but I will see you guys all tomorrow for day 53. So, stay blessed and stay healthy, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Okay, so I'm just headed back up to the sixth floor where my grandpa's at. Just wanted to say hi, and I'm glad I got my update done. And... Just saying hi to everybody out there across the world. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.